there, everybody, and welcome back to Dicing with Death. So, our hero, Eric, Me. stabbed to death by slavers on the road. Not to death. Stabbed to unconsciousness by slavers on the road. Slips into darkness. You do wake up. Sometime later. I look around my settings. Yeah, you don't know how long it's been, but your head is pounding. And your ribs are burning where where you were stabbed. Um, you're on a cold stone floor. In... The only, there's a flickering torchlight coming in from some metal bars. Jail? Or... I try to get to my feet. Yeah, you're in a cot. Uh, it looks like your wounds have been tended. Um, and you look around and there are... Uh, No, oh, you're you're alone in this in the cell. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my my map. Cool. Okay. Hey. So, any what do you do? Any questions? What do you? What do you well, I'm at? alone in a cell. Um, there's some light coming from bars that lead outside, or what? Uh, you press up against the bars and you can see some torches. Okay, so this would be... Um, one, at, one at the end of each hall. Do I have uh, a window to the outside at all? No. No. Uh, you... Yeah. I you check... You, I, go ahead. I check my boots. Did they check them to, for daggers? Interesting. There's a dagger in each boot. Um, you know, you're, I feel like they would, I feel like you'd take someone's shoes off if you're tending to them medically, but maybe not. No, I, I guess, I guess they missed your boots. Um, how do you have a dagger in each boot if you only had three daggers left? No, no, I had three on my waist left. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let me double check your character sheet then. I was assuming that it would just be you'd have lost everything, but uh, I think I've lost everything but that. Everything but the boots. Yeah. I take it that I mean I had like a key and some clothes and some coins and a water skin and. I mean, all of that was weapons. in bags and stuff on your waist, wasn't it? Yeah. So I presume the key and the coins were all in the same bag, and that's been taken. So. uh just me and my boots. Yeah, you and your boots. Uh, there are a couple other cells in this dungeon. I kind of rest my arms on the jail cells. Hello? Anyone else here? Uh, no immediate response. Yeah, I think they would have taken everything else that you've got here on your street. Um, do you holler for? Yeah, why not? I'll holler for a guard. I, they probably won't come, but I will try. After shouting for a minute or so, a, a guard does, you, a door opens at the end of the hall. Um, you can't quite see, but you can see a change in the lighting. Hey! I'm falsely imprisoned! Help! Help! Can you hear some sniping of boots <clears throat> and a guard approaches <coughs> excuse me uh, wearing you know, he's, he's armed and armored leather, leather armor ah you're up uh, what, what's the meaning of all this this 
Life has no meaning, didn't you know? I take a couple steps back away from the bars. He uh, turns and starts walking away. Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, where am I? At least tell me that. At least tell me where I am. You're in, you're in jail. Yeah, but what town? This is Ashenholt. Do you want me to get you some gruel or not? I would love some. Thank you. He returns with a bowl of gruel, feeds you. Um, uh, does he here. like directly hand it to me through the bars? Um, he slide. There's like a little gap and at the base of the bars, but he slides it under. All right, I would like to stab him while he's trying to slide the, the gruel through. Like I'll, I'll go down to scratch my leg, and then pull a dagger out and just going for it. Are I'm just, no, yeah. I'm in jail. There's no better time than the present. Uh, sure. I guess so. Um, Penalties for darkness. Bonuses for surprise. Um, he's not surprised. Would darkness would cancel with his darkness, and it's actually not that dark. Uh, just give me a roll to hit, I guess. Seven. Um, he pulls back. Uh, oh, there. Feisty one. Save that energy. You'll need it. Uh, I, can I try uh, yes. a, a desperate lunge through the bars at him? Oh, really? Okay. Well, if he didn't notice your dagger before, he notices it now. Uh, you can make a make an offhand attack. Uh, a 12? Hmm... Plunging through some bars, I could understand if that had a penalty yeah, with it. Yeah, I wish you, I was going to think through the penalties before seeing the. I mean, does it, you do have two daggers? They do happen simultaneously. I'll give it. You can roll for damage. I think you would have been better off not if not hitting, but um, four points of damage. That could do it. That does it. All right. It does die. Um, okay, sweet. I, I reach out and try and drag him closer. Sure, you drag him closer. Uh, he does have keys on his, on his waist. That's what you're going for. That's what I'm going for. Grab his keys, undo this door. Um, drag him into the cell and proceed mm -hmm. to change clothes with him. How tall are you? I am 5'5", five, five, 155 pounds. 5'5", five, five, little guy, mm -hmm. little man. I didn't realize. Um, 155? Yep. He's a little, you know, he's well heavy. built. He's got 16 strength. You know, he's he's a stocky man. He has 16 strength? I didn't yeah. realize yet. So you have plus one to damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see how big this guy was. Tall fellow. Um, so equipment will be oversized on you. Do you put on his leather armor? Yeah, I put on all of his stuff. Yeah. He's really tall. What is... Yeah, he's like well over six feet tall. Um, so it, it your the armor fits poorly. I feel like at that that size mm. I almost want to get penalties but I whatever it, it looks awkward as, as hell though the yeah. boots I got you got your own boots got my own boots alright well I tuck the oh, I, I prop him up in the corner yeah. of the room mm -hmm. whisper into his ears I'm sorry it didn't have to be this way um, <laughs> does he have any money on him uh, no, I don't think he, would, he wouldn't carry money while he's on duty. Mm. He's got a club, a dagger, a short sword. I will take his short sword. Um, and I'll take his dagger. So I'll put his dagger on my waist, his short sword on my waist, my daggers and my boots, and uh, crack my neck, and uh, head on back out. 
back out where? So there's a dead end on one end and then a staircase at the other end of the hallway. To the stairs. When I pulled out my headphones, I can't hear anything yet. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got my hands stuck in my headphone cord. Yeah, it just goes up a couple steps to a door. Um, there that is actually carelessly left the jar. What's that? Is there a grate in the door that I can peer through? There is, but it was carelessly left ajar. Isn't that good? That doesn't that mean I can look through the grate? Or you mean the door uh, was a jar? The door is a jar. Okay. Yo, even better. I uh, just kind of push it open the rest of the way and step on through. Yeah, it's just a tiny, tiny room, maybe like seven feet on a side. Uh, with just a little desk and a chair. Cool. Um, um, I presume there's another exit out of this room. Yeah, there is a door to uh, uh, to your right as you walked up the stairs. I go through that door. <clears throat> um, you walk. You open the door into a large hall. And um, roll a perception check. Fifteen. Yeah. There are people in this hall. I was trying to gauge who sees who first and how that goes down. Um. Um, so I think you're probably looking at the hall. The hall is uh, maybe about 50 feet across. I mean, you, you immediately see, you see a door directly across from you. Mm-hmm. Um, to your right, there are two massive um, uh, curved, I don't know, massive, but curved spiraling staircase going up to a second store. And between these spiral staircases, a wicker throne with a man sitting on it. Mm-hmm. Um and I think you're immediately jolted too as a voice like immediately to your right shouts, Who the hell are you? I'm and the new guy, just headed on break, I say. Roll a charisma check. I hope people have breaks back in the day. <laughs> 19, maybe they don't. Like, like hell. And yeah, so you're face to face with another another guard. Um, I give him a broad smile. Uh, uh, this is not time for break. I thought it was thought it was right around now. Yeah, he's you, he reaches out to to grab you, um, but misses. I, and I so fucking, where where are you first? Well, first off, is there anyone else in this room? Oh yeah, there's there's at least four other people. There's someone sitting on the throne, and there's a couple of couple of guards next to him. And then there's a yeah, and then there's another guy like across the hall. Um, All right, so the, the jail leads right out into the main th- uh, th- hall. It sounds yeah, like. I didn't design this this keep very well, did I? But no, that's hey. fine. That's I have had plenty of keeps designed that way. In fact, that's how uh, Lord Song's keep was designed. But if there's a throne on one end, there's got to be a door on the other, right? Yeah. So roll for initiative. Okay. I'm moving. Seven. So I go on the fast phase as my movement. Yeah, uh, you beat this guy to the punch if you're quick and you tell me what you're what you're I run. doing. I run for the front door. All right, um, you run f- towards a massive set of double doors. Uh, you hear a shout from the. Th- uh, you hear cackling laughter from the throne room, mm-hmm. manic laughter. Uh, I, I go for the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you go for the door. I guess I'll, um, but that delays, that delays you a phase, right? So my door, I I move on average, I get to the door and can take my Mm -hmm. action at the door on medium. So I think the guy gets another grab at you before you, before you can run. That's fair. And he does lay hands on you. So you, uh, you turn to run and you, he catches your arm. He probably catches you by your overly baggy armor. Uh, armor. Uh, roll like by the collar. Roll a strength check. Twenty-eight. Ooh, Ooh. could be close. You're strong, but he rolled well. Let's find another d six. Fifteen. 
Never. Dang. Nine. Five is 14. Oh, he just barely beats you. Oh. Yeah, so he catches you by the back of your... It's good. 14 strength. Catches you by the back of your... Um, of your armor and drags you to a halt. Well, what in the bloody hells is this? Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Misunderstanding? Sh- shouting across the room, or shouting from across the room. We got a lively one. Do I still get to make an action since I didn't get to uh, go anywhere? Sh- sure, yeah. All right, then it's dagger and shank in the ribs time. On the guy who's holding me. Um, roll the hit. Natural one. <laughs> roll a save versus death. Natural one. Really? Yes, it's followed by a 12. Do I shank myself? Do I draw my <laughs> dagger and cut myself across the waist? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it. You kill yourself. I thought we would get some exposition here, maybe some 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 more story. But no, you draw your dagger and Whoops! Oh. <laughs> yeah, you you draw your dagger and you know slice your own hand open. Uh, the pain causes you to to lose consciousness <laughs> as you hear a loud cackling laughter from the, from the throne. <laughs> wow. Well, so much for Eric. <sighs> that was great. That was great. Um, so let's talk about what we want to do next. This is a, a session and a half. So not our shortest lived character, but definitely nothing impressive. Um, but yeah, no, that was kind of I'd... one of the things that we wanted to do after Georg was so long lived was to get some shorter lived characters in there to to free us up a bit. Um, so I would call this character a resounding success. Sure, at least to death was amusing. Yeah. Um... And, and chat was wondering why I wanted to draw that out. It was all worth it in the end. It was beautiful. beautiful. Um, so, are we switching back to you DMing? That's, that what we want? that's how this game goes. Um, I will here, DM again. Here, I thought we were trying to give you a break, but... We were, but it didn't work out. Um, so, uh, I guess that means we should roll you a character? Yeah, yeah, I um, guess so. Alright, but before easy VOD management and everything like that, we're going to go to break right now, and then we're going to come back from break so that there's a nice clean cut and everything. I don't think we're actually going to take a break, but we're just going to move to the, the screen and then run the intro again. So uh, stick around, and we'll be right back, and Ryan's going to make a character, I think. Uh, so see you soon. <laughs>